I'm Gail C., Director of Teaching and Learning here, and this week I have the pleasure of having Paul Anderson, who has joined us from uh, Montana. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Paul is a science consultant who has worked with us before, and I just want to check in with Paul about what he's done during this week that you've been here. You so let's start with the high school maybe and talk a little bit about working with high school teachers. Yeah, for sure. So uh, the work this time was, I kind of broke the high school work into two chunks. Uh, the first one was with a number of biology courses, uh, or biology teachers rather, and what we were looking at is developing a biology course, a course that all uh, students will take. What we're, our goal was um, we're doing a lot of work around the next generation science standards, right. so uh, I would say the middle school has kind of led that. They're maybe a little bit ahead, uh, and so we want to continue the work that they've done in the middle school, but we really want a course that is going to transition well into AP and into yeah. IB courses and electives. Not all kids are going to AP and IB, obviously. Right. We want a course that really is uh, just moving them in a good direction towards those tougher classes. Uh, biology has changed quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it was. For a while, it was really focused on DNA and, and biochemistry and the molecular uh, mm -hmm. biology. And, and there's also, like we have other problems now, so environmental issues, things like that. And so we want to make sure that the course kind of reflects that and changes in the AP. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're really building that really solid foundation to prepare students as they go up into those high level yeah. science courses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think the big thing is we want to lift the level, like we really want to lift the bar and the rigor in the courses and you right. can't do that by teaching a huge amount of content. Right. So we're focusing on the most important content yeah. and making sure that we have a class that's very rigorous. And the depth. Um, the depth so we can get deep. Yeah. Uh, then yeah. the other half of the time was spent with all the other teachers. Um, so we already have a chemistry class, we have a physics class, right. environmental class. My work is not around IB or AP, however I was an AP teacher, but mm -hmm. we were looking at um, really bringing inquiry into the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of our work together was on good question asking and how can we ask more compelling and different types of questions. Uh, right. I think the way I took most of my science classes was you were learning a bunch of content and then you would do labs to just verify that. Right. And so what we're trying to do is build inquiry into the class where kids can ask questions mm -hmm. that they're interested in, but right. also it's around phenomena that will give them the science content. Right, and I love yeah. the way you model that with with, uh, yeah. with teachers, put yeah. them in that position. Of yeah, it's always, so. yeah, I mean, I was a teacher for 20 years, and so I don't want somebody to come tell me what to do, I want them to show yeah. me what it looks like, yeah. so I tried to put the teachers in that yeah. position, and I thought they did well, they enjoyed it. So yeah, it was fun. they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, middle school, you worked? Yeah with teams in yeah, the school? Yeah, so we had, uh, so we met together, so it was all of us together, and went over similar things about questioning and really building inquiry skills, uh, just adding things that, it, that I'd learned since I was here last and right. other, other techniques. Yeah. But then I had individual time with grade six, grade seven, grade eight, those teachers, and we were really looking at building units around phenomena right. um, and just kind of the, the progressions in those courses. Yeah, so looking for that vertical pr progression. Absolutely, learning. yeah, yeah so, right. so that was great. And um, then the you're last, in school? yeah, the last two days oh, I was at elementary. the elementary school. So yeah, and that for the most part was I spent some time with grade five and pre-K looking at engineering that they'd done. Mm -hmm. um, they both, I would say, is one piece of feedback is that they are doing engineering. They haven't done this in the past, and the kids love it. They yeah. love yeah. trying to solve problems, and so it, uh, they found that part. Um, the kids just like the divergent nature of engineering. Just it's real. Uh, but then the other one was me teaching lessons. What we were really trying to do in science is not just, science isn't just learning a set of facts, but how can you use evidence to support claims? And so that would be the theme of this trip, or this trip rather. Um, how do we use claims, evidence, and reasoning to, to really under, kind of explain what we've learned in the science classroom? And so, did a bunch of lessons, we call those lab sites at each of the different levels, and then we would meet together with the teachers. Uh, it was rewarding because for the most part, they're all going into units that we kind of talked about, and so I know mm -hmm. that there's going to be, uh, we're just going to have a higher level of science in the next few right. weeks. And I love the way that, that vocabulary and that layout of uh -huh. the template for the, the claim, evidence, and reasoning yeah. goes all the way through the school. For sure. Really, that can be, that can be used on all levels, and yeah. the students get to use that and know that that's the way they're working, I mean, it really builds that, that learning progression for the students. It does, right? yeah. And also I think it connects to, I mean, we saw teachers seeing how science is just not something you learn in isolation. It's yeah. about reading, yeah. it's about writing, it's right. about math, it's about all of those things together. And so. the lovely thing was that in the elementary uh, lab sites, we had the opportunity of having our literacy coordinator and yep. our math coordinator, as well as Gabby, our um, science coordinator. Yep 
in there looking at how those things are similar yeah. and how they can connect yeah. and how we can work smarter by connecting all of those. Yeah. So. It was, it was great, and yeah. I would always say like the most important thing is the students. Yeah. So yeah. I have fun coming back and meeting with them. They're wonderful, yeah. and uh, yeah, you got great kids. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks for all your work. Thank you so much, Kat. Thank you. <laughs>